So, Elemental Hero Spirit of Neos is really actually growing on me. I think the card is actually really strong, and I think it has actually strong case outside of the Neos deck. I think it has a strong case usage for all hero decks, including Omni. Obviously, I think it really is a really good card, especially in my time of using it in the pure neos deck and in today's video i want to break down some of the case uses of this card and some of the things that you can do with it and where what things what lanes and lines that the card opens up michael bowden back here once again and i am your host destiny hero mike baby and welcome back to d time we're here baby it's always d time baby and in more ways then one now in my time of playing the pure neos variant you're pretty you have to play the spirit of neo and after using him a healthy amount of times i've kind of come to the conclusion that he really is a worthy hero he's probably my favorite e-hero single-handedly and yes i know there's elemental hero stratos i mean he's been the goat for ages he's been in so many different uh variants older meta decks all these different things he's been around forever literally but spirit of neos you know as an especially as an element to hero i think he's probably hands down right now to me in my opinion possibly the best elemental hero but before we dig deeper into his effects and the things that we can explore please do us a small favor hit that thumbs up button and comment neos power or even d time or it's d time with along with whatever that you want to it really helps us out in the algorithm and if you're new here hit that subscribe button this is a hero oriented channel week in week out really appreciate you guys now he is a light warrior level seven monster and what he does is when your opponent declares an attack you can while he's in your hand you can special summon him from your hand and if he is special summoned this way then he cannot be destroyed by battle so i just something very important that i want to note he cannot be destroyed in battle even if they already have a face of skill drain because it is a lingering effect that resolved in hand he is not an on-field uh continuous effect such as marshmallow or something like that no he doesn't work that way it's really cool they can't negate him or something like that and then run him over they can't use infinite impermanence and the gate is effect and they run over no it is not a continuous effect it is a lingering effect that already resolved in the hand it cannot be destroyed by battle so keep that in mind don't let anybody cheat you because they'll try it trust me second effect then if this card is special summon you could add one card that is listed specifically in elemental hero spell a trap from deck to the hand such as protection of the elements even though it doesn't list neos you can go ahead and grab the protection of the elements because it still lists a specific elemental hero such as elemental hero terra firma anything all the bubble man cards prestinatrix cards even feather Bla the feather blast the feather duster from the elemental hero avion you get as well as all the neos cards so you have access to all the old neos cards all the old elemental hero jayton special cards you can add all of those literally which is just awesome but usually you're going to be grabbing me personally you're going to be grabbing something like if you're playing neos neos fusion or just if you're even both either decks the protection of the elements because that is such a powerful uh spell trap negate also don't forget you can also grab a palmization from deck to hand i almost forgot Yes, you can also grab a Palmization from deck to hand, which again, like in one of my previous videos, he can literally play through a Dimension Shifter if you used, if you bring him out something by via way of Ian Shuffle. He can grab a Palmization and play through something like a Dimension Shifter. He has literally the same application as Elemental Hero Blazeman added on to that. The guy is just full, he's just a bag full of magic tricks. It's insane. And his third and final effect, probably my, mo my most favorite effect and probably the most underrated effect, you could tag him back to the main deck once returned to special summon a vanilla OG Neos, which is probably my favorite effect because that's just going to, because after, because when you get a search, by the time you, you've resolved this summon, the guy in the search, you're definitely going to have a polymerization in hand by then. And now you have your vanilla E-Hero monster on the field. Doesn't have to be Neos. I believe he could summon any elemental hero vanilla monster actually as a matter of fact which then gets you ready for your elemental hero flame wingman infernal rage setup i was thinking man yo konami is cooking they really knew what they were doing ahead of time it's kind of crazy they knew that they were going to come out with a card such as the infernal rage you know to complement this entire setup now i know you guys might think okay he's kind of clunky He's, he's basically a revamped version of the Elemental Hero Neos alias. I would actually agree in some ways, but I want to say this. 
He's literally one of the only E-Hero hand trap monsters. I think he's probably the only Elemental Hero hand trap monsters outside of Honest Neos, but just alone by itself without requiring an additional monster. He's literally one of the only Elemental Hero hand trap monsters. And then along with him comes an awesome package such as an Omni Negate or Neos Fusion if you're playing that. And there are multiple ways to summon them outside of the, uh, the Elemental Hero wake up your uh, E-Hero line where you use your DPE to destroy your Elemental Hero wake up your E-Hero and then your wake up your E-Hero summons them from the hand or the deck as a result. But there are other ways such as Ian Shuffle, again, another popular hero card that's not used in every hero deck. My personal card, my personal favorite way to summon them is Engage Neo Space, but obviously that's more for the Neos variant. And then, which both can really play it, the Cross Keeper. Yes, Cross Keeper can easily summon them. So you hard draw that Cross Keeper, or you can search it, whichever, such as Rhoda, or you know, however you get him to your hand. Usually you're gonna hard draw him if you're playing Neos, but. The cross keeper is going to special summon from the hand and then boom going to get you your trap card the protection of the elements or again if you're playing something like uh some sort of neos package basically i think that he's designed to squeeze in some sort of neos package and that can be played in any kind of deck any variant whether it's pure neos whether it's the omni slash destiny variant i think the the package is really small that now one thing i think i'm going to be doing i'm going to be experimenting more with spirit of neos outside of the neos deck i think he's a very powerful card i think there are, again like i said there are a lot of things you could do with them there are a lot of things that he offers there are a lot of lanes that he opens up and also there are a lot of other neos players i've been seeing and say such as the hero group i've been seeing that they've been getting success with this guy they've been getting success with the neos deck a lot of them are, are going X1, XO even, top two, top one. It's really, the Neos deck is real. It's real and in live effect. And I'm just really happy to be a part of that contribution. Uh, just pushing Neos and promoting Neos more as a standalone deck outside of the Omni deck. And of course, yes, just like I said, yes, he's going to help you easily get into the shiny Neos Wingman because obviously the Infernal Rage is always going to get you your favorite contact no matter what. Definitely he's an auto setup in and of itself. He's still, I think he's largely unexplored. So I'm going to be doing some tests and I'm going to be probably messing around with him within the Omni Hero deck and see what we can come up with. Yes, I think he's best in, in the uh, Neos deck, but the way he was designed, he was designed as if like they're implicating it, like, hey, put him in literally any hero deck, but you have to kind of play a package that's somewhat centered around him but I think it can really work. He doesn't lock you either. That's another cool thing about Spirit of Neos. He doesn't lock you. He doesn't lock you into non-hero either. He's just that good in my opinion. And it's just really early to say. It's still early. It's still fresh. It's still, I would say it's still a new card because it has not been played up until this point. We just got the Infernal Rage about a month or so ago. So in Omni, I want to know. So for the Omni hero players, let me know, are you guys playing this guy? Are you are you guys manning this guy? Are you guys doing the wake up your E-Hero combo? Or are you guys thinking about using him as a package? Because it really got me thinking, thanks to Nathaniel Christmas, he was using the Cross Keeper. And I'm thinking, okay, well, if you're using Cross Keeper, you can literally easily throw in the Spirit of Neos. You see, you see how that works? You see how it you see how easy and seamless it is to just kind of throw it in? Especially if you feel like if you feel like you're gonna be going over 40. So let me know if you guys are considering it, just to the Omni Hero players, because obviously Neos, it's standard in Neos, but to the Omni Hero players, are you guys going to be playing this card? Are you guys thinking about experimenting with it, playing around with it, maybe taking in an Ian Shuffle, a Cross Keeper here, there too, or maybe even if you're bold, <laughs> an Engage Neo Space? Probably not. But again, there are multiple ways to summon. There are multiple ways to summon the Spirit of Neos. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one.